what's the highest value thing I could give you? My love? My time? My word? I don't have control over anything else, and what do we own, really? So why am I here? Why are you here? When I started asking really good questions, my life started getting really good. But what, my life got really great when I started actually answering them. I was the first in my family to go to college. I applied for over 100 different scholarships and studied at the University of Michigan, neuroscience. I wanted to go to med school. I thought I was gonna be a doctor. But what I loved more than organic chemistry, and I actually did come to like that, <laughs> was the thrill of creating and sharing, of grasping problems and thinking up solutions, and helping other people do that too, and becoming my best self in the process. But what if you fail? I did. I, I invented a product that helped people get outside and live. I started the company behind it, and I was even selected to appear and taped for an episode of Shark Tank. But the episode never aired. Yet still, I kept on, because that's what matters. You doing the one thing that you can do and no one else can, and that you keep doing it and doing it, even if you fail. I ended my first company as I knew it when I realized that my why, what I was capable of, was even bigger. So I set out to explore exactly what that why was. Where could I find it? Who could I create it with? These are the kind of big questions we grasp with. So I traveled the world, and I met a lot of amazing people. And as I traveled, I wrote. It began in journals. I've been journaling since I was like five years old. But these were just scribbles in notebooks. But those scribbles became real when I put them on a web. I started, I started the, a blog. And this blog eventually became the basis for my book, a book that helps me scale my greatest gift, the ability to help other people find theirs. Have you ever stopped and asked yourself, what do you really want? And pause to contemplate not just the question, but your answer. What do I really want? I did, and the rest of my life is the answer. I have so much gratitude, too. Uh, I'm, I'm happy, you know, life wasn't always easy, but I have my, my family uh, to thank, we got through it. My, my mom, my little sister, my grandma and grandpa. Hi, Anne. Uh, the people watching at home. I have the most amazing friends in the world. At home and abroad, uh, we, we call each other friends, and that's really something special. I have the most amazing partner. Thank you for being here today. The people around us matter. The people around us matter. So who do you want to spend your time with? And how do you want to spend your time? These questions, when you ask them, you know a lot more than just how to ask questions, but how to get answers, the answers that really matter in life. Whether you're just starting out as a college student or whether you're a 75-year-old business mentor that's learning Spanish. These are all people that I know. If we equally embrace both the highs and lows in life, we can live our best life now. That's my thesis here. That's my idea worth spreading. Because I wasn't always serving. I chase highs and avoid the equally low lows. But that's not living life in its full richness, right? Have you ever bought a lotto ticket? I'm gonna shift gears a little bit because it's something that maybe we can relate to. I have, but did you actually consider what you'd do if you hit that Powerball jackpot? Would you write it down? Again, who would you spend your time with? How would you spend your time? What kind of drive would you have? What kind of impact would you make? You don't have to work anymore. Write it down, take the time to sit with yourself and sit with the question and sit with the answers. There's no limits. And the, the key point here is writing it down. As an exercise, you can think about this, but what you'll soon realize is that you've already won the lotto because you're here today. 
You don't have to chase the next best, biggest, shiniest thing or run away from the pain and suffering when things don't work out. You can just pause and breathe. Do this with me now. Take a deep breath in. And lean in to both the highs and the lows. Live your best life now. You know who you are. You know why you're here. I know who I am. I know why I'm here. We know how to ask really powerful questions. And we know that when we do the things that matter, that's inspiration. And that's how you live your best life now. Because you already are. Because you're here today. Thank you. With love.